Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to share with you my top 10 nude lipsticks at the moment. A lot of them are liquid lipsticks. Some of them are from America, some of them are from the UK, but yeah, hopefully you can get your hands on at least a couple of these because I really, really like them a lot. Some of them aren't like typical nudes, they're more like, some lean towards the brown side, some lean towards like more pinky, darker shades, but pretty much they're all neutral on my skin tone, if that makes sense. So yes, let's start. So the first one I have to share with you is the NYX Lip Lingerie in 04 Ruffle Trim. And it's a little bit lighter than most of the other nude shades that I have to share with you today. So it's kind of like a, it almost has like a pinkiness to it. It's a really nice one if you're wearing very, very heavy, dark eye makeup and you just need something simple on your lips. These lip lingeries do dry down to like a matte finish, um, but they're not like uncomfortable at all. I really like this one a lot. I have another lip lingerie. This one is in number 12, Exotic. And I think this is a really popular shade among a lot of people. It's just a really easy one to wear. So let's see, how would I describe it? It's darker than the last one, obviously. It definitely has like a pinkiness to it. So it, it will be a really nice nude for like a darker skin tone with a bit of pink, I think. It's really nice. It's just an easy one to wear. I wear this one like way more than the ruffle trim just because um, it's more of like an everyday shade. It's more natural on me. My third lip product is also from NYX, but this is one of the liquid suede's, and this is in 04 Soft Spoken. And this shade, I would say, is somewhere in the middle of Ruffle Trim and Exotic. So it's sort of like a rosy, nudie shade, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more pinky slightly darker than ruffle trim but it is very similar i had no clue about these like i wasn't sure what the finish was like i just liked the color so i just bought it on a whim but it does pretty much dry down matte so i'm really happy about that because i definitely do prefer matte products for my lips next this i don't think you can get in the uk at least when i bought it you couldn't maybe you can now i have no idea but this is the milani amour matte lip cream in honey and my friend amy um was selling these on her ebay shop i'm not sure if she still is but i'll check but it's just a really nice color um let's see how would i explain this so it has more of like a cool tone to it compared to the other shades that i just mentioned so if i show you here my hand this is ruffle trim this is exotic this is soft spoken and then this one is honey so can you see it's a little bit different to this next let's do a couple of colourpop ones so my favorite favorite nude from colourpop is calypso i really like beeper as well but i think calypso beats beeper for me so I decided to include this one. And it's just a really gorgeous color. Very similar to the NYX ones actually, in, in that same family. Sort of similar to Soft Spoken. It's like a mixture between Soft Spoken and Exotic. It's in that same sort of color family. But yeah, I love this so much. The other nude that I have to share with you is more of a brown, so maybe I shouldn't even include it in this video, but I just wanted to. <laughs> and I think it will be a nude for like a darker skin tone. So it's K by Colourpop, and it's one of their, what is this? Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Next, we have the Lottie London Slay All Day Long Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fleek. And I think this is only available in the UK. I'm not 100% sure. It's a relatively new brand, um, at least I think so, because I haven't really seen it around. Uh, but it's a really nice color. It's really, really nice. It's pretty much like a cross between the NYX Ruffle Trim and Exotic, if like they were mixed. So if you can't get your hands on this, it's pretty much just those two mixed together. So yeah, but if you're in the UK, I would highly recommend this. It's a really nice shade. This is, um, what is this called? Sleek Bare All, and it's a matte lipstick, and it's more on the like pinky side of things, um, but it's so flattering. It really brightens your face. Um, this one is also a UK brand. This is MUA, 
this lipstick I absolutely love I'm actually wearing it right now over a orange tint so that's why it looks a little bit pinky it's only one pound this is the MUA matte lipstick in fawn fancy absolutely freaking love this lipstick it's my favorite right now it's my favorite lipstick right now it's so good I just can't get over the fact that it's a pound also a little bonus one so I guess this is 11 lipsticks I just remembered I have the MUA um, lipstick in shade 11. This is one of my all time favorites. I have repurchased this um, a couple of times because once I lost one, once I left one somewhere and it like melted. So this is my third one. I will keep repurchasing it because it's just a nice one to have in your collection. And it's a little bit darker than the Fawn Fancy, a little bit pinkier. It's not dark, but it's just darker. And it's a little bit more creamy it's not matte but it's not like too creamy if that makes sense because I really prefer more of like a matte lipstick but you can easily blot this with like a translucent powder but this is also a really gorgeous nude shade and the last one I have to share with you is from good old Mac do you remember in the old school days of YouTube everyone was so obsessed with Mac people would buy all their brushes all their eyeshadows like every single time a collection came out like it was just such a big deal now people could care less about Mac I mean I don't know that's just my opinion I still repurchase the concealer palette because it's just great but other than that I never ever buy anything from Mac maybe a lipstick here and there but very very rarely but yeah I don't buy anything else from Mac they used to be so popular but this is my favorite favorite lipstick from Mac besides Ruby Woo this is Mocha and let's see swatch it on myself so I can explain it this is very similar to Fleek actually from Lottie London it's very very similar just in a lipstick form it's actually identical now that I look at it side by side so yeah it's a matte I think is it a matte I don't know I'm not sure because the thing has rubbed off let me see if I can make it up oh no it's a satin if I can see that it's this is so old like as you can see it's pretty much nothing left so the thingy has rubbed off but this is a gorgeous gorgeous sort of like it, it's like a warm medium brown with pink through it this is ruffle trim exotic and soft spoken from NYX then we have honey from Milani this one is Colourpop Calypso, that's Colourpop K. This is um, Lottie London Sleek, Bare All by Sleek. MUA's um, Fawn Fancy, MUA number 11, and Mocha by Mac. Let me know which one was your favourite, and let me know if you have any of these in the comment section below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!